it looks like we're uh, just entering setup now. Oh, sorry, there's no setup on the uh, CTF, so off we go. Okay, great stuff. Um, well, I'm going to have to just work with the fact that my hood seems to be broken. I can't see any of the players. Uh, here they come into the middle. Place to playing in the red if the hood's correct. And if you could just uh, take, it, take it for a minute, mate, while I try and sort of this. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll give you a chance to think of what's going on there. Well, it's uh, not really exciting who's a clear winner at the moment. Uh, oh, although that said, um, the skills pay the bills. I've just lost a few players. Um, in fact, it's uh, seven versus two at the moment. So play stuff are pushing through down the uh, they've chosen the Nana route um, to get into the intel. Well, they're just planning to hold the middle. I here they come. It looks like no. Oh, the sentry set up very sneakily behind the stairs at the back. Uh, it looks like Jimmy has spotted it. He's coming in. Okay. Nice pick. Super. Well, I've just been fed the information for how to reload my hood, so that's kind of cool. Um, the engine has been taken out and that wrangled sentry is going to do nothing and we're not actually going to have to need an uber there however demo sending stickies down is he going to use the uber at this point zero or is there really no point because we have the intel and wondwee is running away with it yep wondwee is coming out he looks like he's going to uh, have a fairly undisputed run here uh, the spies drop down behind him let's see if he can deny play stuff at this point yeah, always good to use that pistol as a spy you don't have to rely on that knife and it's not going to. He's through. Middle Double away. Eight. We're up to 1 0. 1 0 to play stuff. We're uh, playing first to 10, by the way. Right, okay. It's a while since I've played on Turbo, actually, but one of the first uh, custom maps I played in TF2 way back, I believe it was at, uh, around for the beta, or if not very soon after. Oh, really? Because I, I only started playing it when it was, a, um, uh, it was added to, into the uh, stock rotation. Um, ah, in okay. Pyro, I believe, um, but it was one of the early sort of um, official uh, custom maps to be put in. Yeah, no, I think it was um, maybe about the fourth or fifth custom map that was readily played on the servers when Team Fortress came out. We've had some great games on it. It's a good map. Not like not loved by everyone, but of the CTF maps for me, it's uh, one of the best and always been popular in competitive play. CTF map, uh, uh, game mode that doesn't receive a lot of love on our server, if I'm honest. Um. No, for sure. There's another cap to play stuff. Going to nip zero up. And oh, aren't you getting a dirty little pick on zero there? Uh, wasting Uber. Got the medic Girati at the minute hiding around the corner with 85% Uber. Building up. Looks like skills are going to push in. They're posturing. Yep, skills have got the Uber. They're just, just checking there's no one behind them going to flank. Looking for a bit of support. And superb. Taken down by Placeman. Uber sniper coming in. Well, I'm not sure what he's going to do, but um, he'll, he'll have a go at a few picks. <laughs> I think that's a desperation move right there. Yeah. And skills look a little bit flustered. I mean, I, I don't know their record and how good they are, but um, they've started off a little bit scrappily. Obviously, I'm biased. And the de oh, and the, the medic goes down. Awesome work. Almighty God, doing some sterling work there. Yeah, there's so a lot of action place. going on all the way across the map at the moment. It's, uh, it's a tricky one to keep in touch with um, CTF, especially as I don't tend to play it that often. Well, um, uh, I think I mean the key to CTF really is that you don't want to be all spread out and coming in in patches. Well, that's the key to any anything in competitive TF2, really. But um, you need to keep a, a good body of damage dealers around your medic and around uh, your heavy. Um, and push slowly forward, maybe have a spy and a, a scout doing the uh, more stealthy capping or collecting of the intel, but um, pushing as a unit is always a good idea and at the moment we're not seeing any of that from skills. In fact, play stuff being pushed back rather nicely there. Skills as a spy doing a fantastic job taking down 
to it's the place. Like they're being held up by the demo at this point, but the Uber goes in. Sarah's knocked back right um, uh, Siki on the floor there, but he manages to get forward. Heavy's in, and um, it looks like yes, that pyro's not going to get any kills there. And we have the priest running away with the intel again. Yep, the priest, the, the priest doing a great job. Place to moving in with the medic, with the heavy, with the pyro. A nice little combination, and then the priest off to cap, and he can if he can avoid the uh, spraying from uh, skills as heavy, then he's going to get another cap. Zero is taking a lot of fire at the moment. He's um, three zero. Play stuff. Fantastic stuff. And what I actually like about the play is that they're not trying to hold too high. Um, because the higher you hold, the more difficult it is because, you know, their players come at you more often. Um, so they're pushing back, they're coming back a little bit to, um, to get a more secure position uh, in between the, their um, attempts to capture, which I think is a more sustainable process, to use a buzzword these days. Yeah, for sure. And I think players are doing a really wise thing. They've got the um, pyro keeping the medic alive, basically. Their, their, their spy's half decent, we've already seen that. There he goes, he's taken the habit, he knows what he's doing. That spy is going to be a danger. Absolutely. As long as, long as the pyro keeps the medic alive um, and the guys push together like we see they're doing here, you see the difference here with uh, the competitive version of this map. There's this side route to bring you in for the cap. And play stuff, get the intel, take it to just this little corridor here. And the demo man for skills has held them off. Bob now with the intel. I must compliment Ciro, he's been integral to this push because I think that's actually his first death of the entire game. He's been low a couple of times because um, uh, you know soldiers have come around the corner and blasted him as hard as they can, but he's riding away from those rockets and getting to safety really well. Okay, well I'll tell you what, can I, can I suggest we get excited about the caps rather than ignoring them? <laughs> you don't seem to be <laughs> noticing it. That's what we're doing in this game, we're trying to get caps and when our team has the intel and they're running back, that's, that's what we want, that's the exciting bit. So. <laughs> Uh, we'll try and focus on that for you, I think. Um, <laughs> it's great for Zero and all that, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, no, that's alright, mate. I've just, uh, you know, we're new to this, guys, so we, you know, we, we need to kind of try and get some kind of flow going, but we sh should certainly comment on the action rather than uh, anything else, if we can. And there's the spy going down to the, uh, to the medic. Pretty good work. Place that need to regroup here a little bit. They don't want to be pushing with this view. They've got far more damage dealers uh, out and bring them over on the other side by skills. Yeah, there's a strong and push basically. coming in from skills at the moment. Uh, the medic's got his full Uber. Zero just went down, so they've got all the advantages going in their favour at the moment. We'll see if they can get a cap out of this. Yep, skills are pushing down this side route. Dangerous spot. Place to getting a nice early warning as the uh, teleport goes down, but here comes skills blowing the uber going for the sentry taking out the sentry and this looks like they're gonna uh, at least get the intel at this point oh but a brilliant drop down from angry potato from the top secures well kills most of the player unfortunately the uh, skills his, his scout manages to run away with that intel and he was the key player to take out there he was absolutely he looks like he's gonna get back as well he's undisputed he's taking the high ground yeah he's got that full That's distance and we haven't got anyone high up there and it's a cap for Proxers for one. Nice play. Skills back in this game. That should see them settling down a bit, getting their, their nerve back. They're regrouping here. They're going to be able to defend anything. Play stuff, push at them at this particular moment until the heavy class moves out with the medic. Play stuff, sneaking a spy behind this little corner here, ready to take the medic down. And misses the medic, gets the heavy. Job, job done. Really nice work. And really with the heavy down, it's a good time for place to, to push forward. Let's see if they can capitalize on this. There's a pyro with a medic and a demo man and an engineer defending for skills. I think uh, skills tactic in this game is basically to wait for us to uh, make a mistake. Because um, in these sort of stalemate moments of the game, um, we seem to be in the middle of the map, and they seem to be uh, happily cradled around their intel, uh, keeping it very close to their hearts. Yeah, it certainly does seem like they're sitting back a bit here. I don't know whether that's because they were shocked at how quickly he placed the cap the first few, 
or whether just generally um, this is their strategy they plan to defend hard till they've got a, a good portion of the team down and then push. Oh, Arctic with a hit on the medic, but uh, when do we in there just in the nick of time to stop any uh, danger from happening? Yeah, place stuff now just got the Uber. Heavy pyro medic can't quite decide which way they're going to do this push, but I think they're going to go for the drop down. And it does look that way. And they're going to catch skills out by the looks of it. The, pi the uh, sniper and the demo man for skills up at the front there. The wrangled sentry causing some problems for the drop down, but using the Uber they should be able to... Oh no, right, okay, the, the wrangled sentry taking down uh, the medics and the place to... An interesting skills have gone uh, straight for a counter push. They're um, currently running through Banana, and they're actually just outside the intel room. Uh, three of them, the demo, the heavy, and the medic. There you go with the Uber. Oh, when do we get a couple of air blasts, but he will fall quickly to a heavy. Taking and it looks like down. the skills are going to take that bit of intel, and they're going to get it out of the room at least. They are, they've got, they've got their uh, demo man up there. He's got very little resistance apart from our demo, uh, the place of demo man, who's just been taken down by the spy. Beautiful move by skills. Pyro confidently going through the engineer, sniping oh. by sloth, lovely. Stop lovely defense to get that right in the uh, middle of the map before it gets to their side because that's a big psychological win if you can get the intel to your side because then it's just a few steps. Oh, but the spy picked it up Absolutely. in an opp opportune moment. A small relay by the sky and the scout will ensure that skills go to two, taking them a little bit closer to the com more comfortable position. Oh, and a very aggressive move by Serik here. Picks up the intel, gets a sapper on the sentry in a moment of panic, and actually will he take out that sentry? He yes, looks he like has. he's going to take out the sentry. That's awesome. Okay, so let's see who's got... who's going to push for play stuff here. Most people are not anywhere near. <laughs> it looks like we don't have the bodies to capitalise on that. Oh, I see what's happening. In uh, Banana, we have um, our uh -huh. guys all guarding... Uh, our intel. Um, we'd rather to keep our intel than uh, move into theirs. I guess the uh, safer move uh, to the, w the wiser choice. Yeah, I guess so. I guess it's a matter of whoever's calling at the time. You, there's kind of the argument that says if you're capping theirs, then they're busy trying to stop you capping theirs and haven't got time to uh, come and cap ours. But um, no, I think it's sensible in the circumstances to wait for that intel to respawn back at uh, the main control point. And then push forward again. I'm oh, definitely happy to maintain a small lead that they have at the moment, uh, rather than uh, concede any of them. Yeah, for sure. And the sky for skills, the spy for skills, just kind of wanting to go in there and take someone out. But uh... oh, he got Jimmy. He got the our soldier. Um, I must say, this spy is doing a great job by himself of um, you know taking at least one player out. Um, he's a real threat to us. He is, Arctic E squared. He's pushing uh, pushing down now. I wonder if he's going to try and. Alright, place is taking the initiative and going into the spawn room. There's no sentry. Oh, sorry, the sentry is down by the stairs again. It's a very sneaky spot. Always catches me out. And the priest has run away from the in with the intel in that attack. And I think he's going to make it back with no trouble whatsoever. Superb. Okay, yeah, he looks like he's got a free run now to the top. So the real question is, can we hold for the follow-up here? And here comes the spy for skills. Yeah. It looks like we're going to get uh, two in a row now, as one we, uh, the fastest class available, to picks up the intel and heads back. Um, no doubt he'll do a relay with Priest, um, who will take it twice the speed back to the uh, intel room again for another cap. And I noticed there are spies hanging around on our dispenser. Now. What do you think of that? He's kind of looking for the opportune moment to take out the sentry with a view to letting the rest of the team push forward but I don't, I'm not sure whether the rest of the team are actually dying before they get anywhere near that and could probably do with his help uh, in the middle of the map. Well, Here we go, just... he's doing useful work now, taking the sniper. Well yeah, he's been uh, taking off 
players, one or two well, players at a time, um, but it doesn't seem like his work is sort of being capitalized on by uh, uh, skills to pay the bills. Um, so I don't know if he's just uh, sort of trying to plan things a bit more um, within his own team, uh, you know, just to get more use out of the work he's doing. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I've noticed that Skills just blew another Uber. Um, they're retreating now, the heavy and the medic combo. Just waiting for a, more of their classes to spawn. I'm not sure where the medic's running off to, but he's going on a renegade mission without the heavy. And here they come, taking the spawn route. So that's the second cap in the row just there. Lovely work. Yeah, it's a confident performance by Playstuff so far. I'm not seeing... Uh, Oh, have you, right. is your game just frozen? I think, we, I think we've got a pause. Yeah, we've got a pause going on, so... Uh, just for a minute, how, how do you think we're doing so far? I mean, how, let's try and look at it impartially first of all, and then give our totally biased opinion. <laughs> well, I think uh, there's um, uh, a defensive posture taken by skills to pay the bills, and that is uh, not enough here, because I think we're constantly knocking on their doorstep and pushing them back wherever we need to. Um, some very confident Ubers coming in without any real resistance. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I hope to see more out of them to make this a bit more of a contest, because, I mean, it is 7-2. Although, that said, they did have that spree where it was 4-0 um, and then it went up to 4-2. Um, mm. So, you know, they, they do have moments of brilliance, and I'd like to see more of those. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think, I think they've been generally... Um at their best when they're being aggressive. I mean, uh, you know, especially in a CTF game, it, it just, if, you don't, if you're not aggressive, you're not going to get anywhere with the intelligence on a regular basis. And uh, it's the opportune moments when there's three players taken down and your scout or your pyro or your demo man, whoever is alive to capitalize on it, that you, you get the points. Well, the thing is that we're only pushing forward with, um, you know, three or four players at a time. We're not balls all in for, you know, six or seven players and leaving nothing, uh, you know, so a, a rogue scout can come in and sort of cause chaos whilst the, you know, bulk of the team is away. Um, so a completely defensive posture uh, isn't going to work. It's just going to be a war of attrition until we get it. Yeah, for sure. And a nice little battle in the, in the middle at the moment. The skills pushing forward with the pyro. Wants to hang back and wait for the support, some more classes to support him. And here, here they come. Skills are a little bit more strength here. The medic, the heavy. It's fragmented play, though, unfortunately. Um, if I have to be critical of them. Well, they're under pressure at the moment. There's one we uh, just picked up the intel uh, in a relay race and got it out of their spawn room. Uh, sorry, not out of their intel room. And it is in that corridor at the moment, being guarded by the demo and the soldier. Yeah. And the medic taken down by, uh, I think it was our scout. So denied the opportunity to be of any great assistance. And Saro doing a great job building up these Ubers and keeping them, using them. He's on 80% now. As soon as he gets to near 100, he's going to push around this corner and find this intel. And wonder we wisely taking one for the team ah. uh, and uh, taking all the stickies to the face there just to make sure that. Um, you know, forcing the demo to use those stickies and therefore the next player could come in and get them. For sure. Unfortunately, Saro did actually die. I think I cursed him. Oh, uh, it looks like um, we've lost a player on our team. Let's see. Right, I see. Uh, it looks it's like uh, the reason for the pause it was in fact that um, Sarek had lost connection. Um, and so he's rejoined. It's just that the pause delays uh, in the cast, so it's a little confusing for us in the meantime. Yep. Jimmy, Jimmy finally some solid work. getting a nice shot out on that spy, uh, stopping him from being dangerous for just a moment, but he'll be back soon. And place the pushing in now. They've got plenty of weight behind this push. The medic, the heavy, the soldier, the pyro, the scout, the spy. Looks like there's going to be no trouble capping here. Skills can't really do a lot. There's the demo and the sniper up at the top by their spawn and. They're coming under a barrage of rocket fire, so they'll just have to sit and wait. And hopefully they've got some people uh, towards our, our, our intel who can do some defense. They've got the, certainly got the heavy, the medic, the scout. Um, it appears they're going to go straight in for a drop down with the Uber. An interesting move by Baby Seal, the uh, uh, skills engineer. He's um, opting for mini sentries now, so being a bit more ballsy with his tactics. Uh, 
you know, now that we sort of enter these uh, getting to desperate times, 8-2. Yeah, sure. And this was a nice move by Skills, dropping down into the uh, place of Intel. The medics taking taking it with the Pyra. He gets taken down, the Pyra will try and pick that up and get exploded. And the Spy's going to do it. Oh, no, he gets taken down. So Sloth's doing an awesome job here of, of, of sniping. Uh, he's got the dead ringer there. Yeah, with um, this mode, it's sort of hard to draw the battle lines and therefore hard to keep track of the snipers, but they um, they do their work. There you go, lovely cap for skills. Takes them to three. Best first to ten, so um, I'm presuming. I don't know what happens when the clock runs out, actually, but um, place to beat one more cap to seal the deal. Well, at nine three, I think it's uh, fairly much over. Unless they can do something absolutely amazing with all nine of their players in a row in the last ten seconds. No, for sure. I, I, I'm not sure whether that's the game time or for tournament though or not. Sometimes we've had maps where the oh, game time breaks and the, yeah. no, that does seem like a definite win. So it's first to ten or first to uh, have the highest score when the match ends. And really well played by play stuff. Um, all right, so that's the uh, first round we're over with, and. We will be moving into the second round for it's a best of three format. Place to also play in the um, ETF2 Highlander League. Uh, this season they're starting out with quite a challenge after being in Division 6 last season. Um, winning it and uh, 6F or 6H, I can't remember, but they, they won it anyway. They, they won with a flawless victory, 10-0, uh, I believe. Um, and this year we applied, I think, to be in uh, the fifth league fifth division That's right. um, and the ETF2 organizers said no and put us in fourth so we're all a little bit scared about that I think um, we're a casual team and, and originally and, and still relatively casual uh, just getting used to playing with each other um, and I think uh, it could be a baptism of fire the, um, the fourth division um, we're yet to see they start playing in the next few uh, weeks well, the scary thing is, is that um, oh, we're actually moving into the uh, next round, starting up. Uh, so we have 20 minutes in order to capture one uh, flag. Okay, well that should be possible. Um, who knows? They're good team well, talk by skills. They might pull well, themselves the together and. Uh... Only the engineer went to defend, so the priest was able to get in, take a couple of shots. Century, but get back out again. Uh, the priest has gone down, but he's passed it over to Jimmy in the big relay race. Um, but is Jimmy going to make it back? Oh, he's rocket jumping around, but he gets trapped into a corner by the uh, skills Pyro. Hanley playing very well for their team, top of the scoreboard so far. Nice defense by skills there. They're in in this corner. Relatively easy to defend if the guys uh, concentrate on defending it. Sloth's going to be trying to pick them off. It's an interesting situation here because obviously they don't want to lose this, um, but we have plenty of other chances to get it if we don't get it this time, so we'll be quite aggressive on this bottom one, I'd imagine. Absolutely, yep. And uh, we see the scout for place to taking the long route round, which serves a great um, distraction for the defending soldier and um, sniper, but not quite enough. The demo man slipped in, tried to take the intel, but didn't have any joy, but fortunately, place does Pyro picks up the intel, runs back, and if our understanding of the rules is correct, this is the win. It, well, it, I guess it is because he's playing the guitar before he caps. I <laughs> wonder we taking all the glory and milking and it some more. Yeah. That's the good game called by Almighty Bob, and very convincing fashion, place to take the win. Only two minutes made it into the second round. I thought we were going to see a lot more of. Um, uh, you know, small hot scorches, lots of death runs of, uh, you know, spies leaping onto the intel, getting it two feet, um, and a bit more of drawn out action there, but, um, no, quite convincing in the end. And it seems that, uh, skills to pay the bills, uh, have, or kills that pay the bills actually hadn't had the rules properly and didn't realise it was first to ten, so, uh, they're GGing now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was a bit worried that they weren't GGing because they seemed to be very friendly earlier. They did. I wouldn't want to think that our team, through one match of doing rather well, manages to encourage bitterness on the internet. That's not really what we stand for. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. That's, uh, it's definitely an aim of the team to, uh, you know, 
be friendly, be positive and get on with the teams that they play against as well as anyone who's uh, battling it out for uh, victory can. Okay, let them take that in. <laughs> oh dear, I feel a bit sorry for them because I'm guessing if they hadn't, uh, if they had realised that was the match point, they they probably would have made more of an effort. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the, I've just seen that they were saying in the chat, um, quoting themselves. Okay, let them take that intel. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite realising. Oh, that's actually the one that matters right now. Um, so that's pretty good stuff. And I've just been, I've just had a message from Agro actually from Critzcast. The Critzcast uh, distinguished ducks played against could try, try harder. I think that was in um, uh, the UGC two, and they finished 10-0 a few minutes ago. So uh, that's pretty pretty impressive performance by the dis distinguished ducks. Yeah, nice. always great to hear from a fellow ally on the internet that they're doing well as well. Absolutely, top fellas over at Critzcast. Uh, Agro being uh, the main man over there, lovely guy. He's actually done some casting with us before here at Play Stuff, so um, we'll probably be getting him in to um, show us up at some point in the in the future. Oh yeah, him in his damn casting goods. Yeah, I'm really showing it Absolutely. off now, aren't I? <laughs> well, he's he's got all the experience, Agro. He's um, I, I casted with him a little while ago, and uh, you know. I, I felt like the amateur but um, if you haven't listened to crits cast guys i really suggest that you do it's the best tf2 podcast on the interwebs and agro is joined by uh, various crits cast regulars with guests they've had all sorts of people on it uh, from robin walker down i think is probably the safest way of putting it um right down to the lowest of the low uh, in, in myself so um a really great show been running for a good good amount of time now um oh yeah at least two years it, it's got to be, hasn't it? Um, they're really good. All of all of us at Play Stuff are really good friends with the, the guys there. We quite often pub together, and um, it'll be good to get Agro on. Um, I'm not sure when that's going to happen, but um, it will depend on when their match is full because he he plays the team, um, and so it depends if he's free or not. <laughs> it's great. That's to it. Say that, that's it, it for tonight, guys. Um, cheers for joining us. Keep an eye on PlayStuff.net for information about the next matches and the next casts. And uh, from myself, Colt, and from Nutmega. Goodbye. Goodbye.